Hi guys, welcome back. I want to go ahead and do this for you guys for the weekend so you guys know what you can expect from you and your partner. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, group you guys into four different categories, fire, earth, air, and water. Fire signs, I'm going to start with you and let you know how you will be seeing your partner and what you can expect, um, you know, for this weekend. For those of you guys who are planning to see your partner or, you know, um, rekindling reconciliation. I feel very strongly there's a lot of reconciliation that's happening for a lot of my signs this weekend. So this is going to be for Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Let's see what's going to go. Um, you and your partner, what you guys can expect for just this weekend. This is going to be a general love reading, so this is not going to apply to every single... Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but the most general message I can give you guys right now. Yep, a lot of reconciliation is happening. I have a strong, strong feeling this is going to happen. Uh, fire signs, you guys are thinking about reaching out to someone you either turned down, rejected, or someone rejected you. You guys are thinking about maybe reaching out again. Let's see what your partner is going to be feeling. How they'll be seeing this situation. You guys are definitely on guard though, fire signs. You want to give this a chance, but at the same time, you have a lot of control issues. And that's what caused the separation. But it is safe for you guys to love. You have a lot of passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. You guys are very excited to see your partner right now. Um, let's see. Man, you guys are going to get it on this weekend. Healing family issues. For a lot of you guys, you guys are planning a trip to go visit family or, you know, someone who you lost connection with. But it says, you know, yeah, see, some someone who's hurt you in the past. Maybe it was a third party issue. There was some kind of separation. Things didn't move forward. But rest assured, you guys are both thinking about each other right now. A lot of you guys are maybe dealing with a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. Right now, they feel that either you rejected them or they have rejected you. This is kind of what was going on. I'm trying to read this from you and your partner's side, but you guys still have strong emotional feelings. Either you're traveling to see them or you guys are just heavily thinking about them this weekend. Maybe it's a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn, a Cancer, Pisces, Capricorn. This was someone that was maybe dealing with third party issue. I feel that you guys are going to have a heart and heart or want to have heart to heart conversations this weekend, but you need to pay attention to the red flags. Feel that this person maybe is still dealing with um, separation issues. Maybe they still have to let go of someone. They need to, to clearly decide which relationship, um, you know, is best for them or where their heart truly lies. Their message says, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. They are still very attracted to you guys and you guys have a lot of passion for them, but maybe it was finances and career that held you guys back. Um, your partner's thinking this could be the one, but they want a slow, steady start. They deserve love, but they feel that they have to be very, um, you know, outgoing, very confident. They're very confident and very outgoing right now. And it's, they're not really too focused on their relationship or anything too serious. Or I feel like there's going to be something occupying their time this weekend, but then something from you guys, like a message from a fire sign, is going to come at a surprise for them. 
they may not open up to you guys fully because they're still dealing with um, separation issues or family issues or maybe they have Aries Leo, another Aries Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. They feel that they have to separate from somebody in order to um, get the relationship they truly want. See, they know it's on their mind. Give your relationship a chance. They want a long-term, strong commitment here. This is marriage. This is, you know, um, renewing vows. This is like, you know, um, forming into a partnership, contracts. For a lot of you guys, this is, um, a this is a lot of big stuff happening for fire signs this weekend. Um, there's a lot of... Um, you guys must be dealing with the reconciliation, healing family issues. You guys might see, you know, someone that holds near and dear, true to your heart. You might be planning a visit to go see somebody this weekend. Um, let's see. I'm going to give you guys three cards for all fire signs to end this. someone is still involved feel that a lot of you guys someone is going to make a decision and separate from someone and be with a fire sign Aries Leo or a Sagittarius if not well actually I really think that's what it is it said separation and commitment and came, commitment came out again and fast communications and travel and see told you guys maybe it's an Aries okay same repeating cards, commitment, stable, strong, foundation, home, security, stability, a lot of fast, forward movement, travel, speed, messages, um, connections, seeing each other. It's a lot of, you know, things moving forward for my fire signs this weekend, and this is a long-term commitment, Ten of Pentacles. This is stability, safety, strong family ties, um, you know, getting together. I feel like you guys are visiting your family or someone who, um, you know, maybe it's a Taurus. Someone who is, um, who's like a family to you. This is a general love reading, but I think things are going to go very well for my fire signs this weekend. I know you guys definitely have somebody on your mind. All right, you guys, let me know how it goes on Monday and I wish you guys have a great weekend. Bye guys.